This video deals with situations that require us to break the normal rules for rounding off numbers. We are assuming that you understand how to round off numbers, for instance, rounding to the nearest tenth or to the nearest unit. But there are situations that require us to round down when we would normally round up, or vice versa, and I have an example of each right here. In example one, I work in a cafe. And in that cafe, one of the things that we sell to customers are glasses of fruit punch, which come in with a portion size of 0.15 liters. But the carafe that I use to carry the punch around to the customers to fill their glasses holds one liter. The question here is, how many portions of punch can I distribute to customers with one full carafe? Mathematically, it is a straightforward question. I divide one by 0.15, and the answer is 6.6 .6 repeating, or, if I round to the nearest hundredth, 6.67 portions. Normal rules of rounding would tell us that this should round up to 7 portions. But, of course, this does not make sense within the context of the situation. Because the seventh customer would only get two-thirds of a glass of punch, and they wouldn't be happy about that. Truthfully, I have to round down. Because I didn't get a seventh full portion, I can only distribute six portions to customers. And here I have a situation where normally I would round up based on the rounding rules because this six is larger than four, therefore I round up. In this case, the situation forces me to round down. In example two, we are changing apartments. We have rented our moving truck and we have measured the volume of the truck and the volume of all of the furniture and other items that we have to fill the truck with. We have found that if we fill the truck completely twice, we can fit all of our furniture into it except for one bed that's left over. And the question is, how many truckloads do we have to bring to the new apartment? Let's say we divide the volume of all of the furniture by the volume of the truck and we get 2.1. This tells us that we have 2.1 truckloads of furniture. And the normal rounding rules would have us round that down to two. But it's not true to say that we only need to drive the truck to the new apartment twice. This is a situation where we have to round up. We are going to take three truckloads of furniture to the new apartment, even though that third truckload of furniture is going to be quite small. This is the situation where we would normally round down, but the situation forces us to round up. Be aware of situations like these when you're solving problems in geometry and other types of math, because sometimes the situation will require you to break the normal rules of rounding.